love to you and your loved ones and your enemies all right so this since this is so practical i will want to bring it up and ultimately the whole point of this is not philosophy it's for you to realize it yourself through contemplation and meditation and such so when i mean for years i've been talking about you don't really exist or the universe or the world around you doesn't exist and um we just think that that's purely some deep artistic or philosophical view that can't be proven but it can okay from the whole Mariamiko view which is just logic listen this is very basic okay this is what we would call a clipboard but a clipboard doesn't exist I mean obviously I mean it's just something that exists in our mind we could have named this a Bubu Gaga and in fact if you're from a different country that word clipboard does not mean this right so that's already th destroying this idea that this is obviously a clipboard all things concepts words just only exist in our mind okay so okay that's that's one side of it but then here let's take it further and more practical this isn't a clipboard this is plastic here and this is metal and more plastic so it'd be more accurate to say this is plastic that's flattened with metal here that is fastened by some spring and then we use it to put this flattened piece of wood on it called paper now you might think that's ridiculous but that's actually more accurate logically this is more accurate okay then let's take it further this isn't even plastic that's another concept that's another word that we just labeled it plastic this is really hydrogen and carbon most of the time so it's elements of nature that are manipulated and, and make plastics polymers this is not metal this is elements that come out of the ground from rocks and they extract metals and then they combine them usually and you have stronger metals or whatever so basically these are just elements of nature that are changed or used to to uh, to make things for us so that's basically it so it's like everything is a combination of things so this can't exist within itself because when does it stop existing and when does it start existing as a clipboard what if this falls off we can't really call it a clipboard anymore or what if this breaks in half it doesn't exist within itself as clipboard just as you as a human being don't exist as a human being what is a human you could say you're the body well what happens when um, you someone gets brain dead are they still a human even though it's just the body or well what if somebody actually dies if you say you're the body then when someone dies that's obviously not a human anymore it doesn't move it just starts decaying from that point so it doesn't do what a normal living human would be a normal living human stays vibrant you can see something in the eyes it moves it can think so and you can just break it down in every which way you know 
what happens if someone gets his arms chopped off? He's still, is he still a human? Of course, people would usually say yes. But once again, what about when someone dies or when someone's brain dead? And then, when, and then they come back. It's like you can never really, there's nothing you could say is human. Okay, here's another thing that people might find strange, but it's true. Even right now, I am not the same human I was from the beginning of this video. Um, there's probably a couple cells of my skin that fell off since then. So, because for something to really exist, it has to be the same. It has to stay the same. So when everything is changing, that's all it is. But we have a bias toward vision, so toward the visual. And so just because that human still looks basically the same day after day, we're going to say, oh, well, he's Uno. But you can't really, technically, you can't say that because I've changed. When I took a shower, all kinds of hair fell off. And so I'm not the same person. And, you know, people think, ah, whatever, but this is just logic. And I'm using very practical means here, not using woo-woo stuff. Really think about this. It's true. Everything is just motion. The only thing that's constant is change. So it's like everything around you is just motion. Whether it moves or not, I mean, well, first of all, every cell and atom of everything that you look at is motion. That's what it's moving constantly. But I'm saying just because things don't look like they're changing, they are. You know, a million years from now, obviously it's changing because a million years from now, well, you're going to be dead and your body is going to turn into dust eventually and go into the ground and become earth. And then we are going to, what are we going to say? Oh, there's Uno there. I mean, what happens when some of the cells are there and to, they turn into dust? Some of the cells are over there that turn into dust. There's no way to make me a human again. Um, a million years from now, all this stuff is going to be totally decayed and then it's going to break down and it's going to turn into something else. It's going to literally become dirt, like literally, right? <clears throat> all the things around us, aside from probably the plastic or something, but once again, plastic is a natural element, but it just doesn't, it takes a long time to decay. So these are just, I'm just taking the physical things, the vis visual things. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> consider, I didn't even know this until recently because it was confusing me. The electromagnetic spectrum, right, where you have you know, like gamma rays, x-rays on one end, and you have um, some other kinds of rays and waves, electromagnetic waves, you know, uh, or radio waves on the other end that are slow, and then you have the really fast waves on the other side. But guess what? Our li uh, light, visual spectrum of light, is actually a small sliver within that. So... What you're seeing, light, is no different from radio waves uh, and x-rays and gamma rays. It's just a higher vibration. And we only see like the smallest sliver of like this huge spectrum, which probably goes on to infinity, right? It has to. So just think about that. What you're looking at is just electromagnetic radiation and it's no different from x-rays and radio waves so what you see what you do don't see there's no difference and this is this is freaking solid mainstream science it's just just look at the electromagnetic spectrum and you'll see that the visual spectrum of light which is obviously everything we're looking at is the sa on the same spectrum as all of these waves that are moving slower than the visual spectrum and faster than the visual spectrum. Um, so yeah, if you really take the time to think about each thing I'm talking about, it, you'll see it'll break down. Everything is interdependent. Everything is um, a compound. You're not a human. You're bones, which is calcium, and um, 
your water that's your with your blood mixed with other things if you don't drink water you're gonna die right but well blood is water mixed with other things everything is made you're just made out of elements earth air water fire <sighs> breathing fire would be the warmth so you're just a compound of all of these things in nature and so is everything else everything is just compounds of nature and then we label them and then you can get into the other things i was talking about like the spectrum and the last thing i'll get into is consciousness which no one understands i don't think no one even understands how your organs work which is the most obvious simple thing for us to have you know medical science that just goes to show how mysterious and crazy the basic things are like the brain especially but then even further than the brain consciousness the fact that I'm looking and seeing something the only the only reason we know it's real is because every human has it but no one understands it at all now I'm just like mind-blowing thing after another this is so and so crazy there's something you can look up called the split brain. Now what it was, was they took people's um, commissures, which are basically like the flesh, the fibers, whatever, in between the two hemispheres. There's like a bridge in between. And then people have these major migraines, and so they cut that. I think it might be the corpus callosum, but anyway, they were commissures, and they cut that so that there wasn't that flesh in between and everything seemed normal and then guess what this is so mind-blowing to basically for to be real quick here the person became the consciousness of the person became two consciousnesses it became two different people so you think you're this one entity and you think that not only are you physically this one thing called this called a body and a brain consciousness itself mind itself which is the most mysterious of all um, became separate it became it was it was it was able to become just a knife was able to split it so for instance the left hemisphere or the right hand was used words because they were doing experiments and like not letting one side see and doing experiments on these people and they were kind of, you know the left the left side of the body the right hemisphere the brain can't like just talk and 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 stuff like that because it's more like intuition and symbol recognition and such so you know the right side of the body and the left hemisphere is more like that so that's why they can't just talk to each other like using words but they would actually be arguing with each other and they didn't know what the other side of the brain was saying so the person became two people the consciousness became two people and then you think well other parts of the brain could be another consciousness there could be tons of could be a hundred people inside of there and don't know what the other person person meaning a portion of your consciousness is doing so that just goes to show we are not this one entity consciousness is way more uh, basic it's way more fundamental and it's basically consciousness is everything if you want to talk about mystics and such and what they would say there's no difference between me and and some human, other human, or more difference from between me and the tree or anything. There's literally no difference. It's just the whole visual separation. So that was a lot of mind blowing things. But the first few, I mean, I mean, all of these are these are these are scientific. Okay, you can look them up yourself, and you can contemplate them yourself, and just see what ramifications it gives and what paradigm shifts it gives so don't assume so that's one reason I really like Buddhist philosophy because it's just trying to get you to see things for what they really are and just you have to analyze though you have to 
stop assuming that you know because we don't a lot of stuff are just wrong you know but if you think about it and when I say they're wrong I mean don't get defensive just find out for yourself you know um, anyways <laughs>